Hi everyone, welcome back to Cam. We're here. Um, we've been gone a while, but we're back. It's almost summer for us here in California, so you'll hear our kids in the background. Um, we are, love our kids, so we don't mute them out. So yeah, let's start. Um, I have this cup. We have these available on our site. Um, they're right under $9, um, fast shipping. So today we're gonna do a cup with the um, painter tape method in our oven. So I wanted to show, there's a lot of questions about it. You can purchase these on our website. We also have the heat tape available. They're really thick, one inch, which helps me more than anything because I have really big hands and I can't do the little tape. And I created this last night in Photoshop. And I'll put the link below if you guys want any custom designs. This customer wanted a uh, motherhood themed Jurassic Park. They're going to the um, roller coaster. So they're going out to Universal. So they're really excited. Um, we also offer, if this is overwhelming and too stressful, we offered, we do a wholesale. So if you want to sell these to your customer, we only charge $12 and you can retail price them from 25 to 40. And so I will put all that, uh, all the descriptions down below. Please like and subscribe. So we're gonna open our cup. And usually I cut this side here. I cut that lining, but because it's all white, I'm gonna just do it and tape it. So you put it upside down, close it in. And you always put the color. So I have to look at our image and we have to decide which side would look the weirdest on this seam. So if I put it on, let me see. As I do it, you have to see what would cut off what. So I wanna show this on the inside. So I line it up here, make sure it's lined up here, as tight as I can. And then I have my tape and dispenser. Grab just a little piece, that's all you need. Across, make sure it's all the way up. And if you're not sure, you go back, twist it over, make sure really tightly, there's no rush. You can do this part over and over. Here, and then as tight as you can, tape it down. And then we're gonna do this method all the way down. Okay, when we get to this step, you, you remember from our video before, we press our thumb and go high, really tight. Your finger, you feel a little numbness, that's how you know you're doing it right. Let me get this long piece here, and I leave a little extra, and I pull as tight as I can, and I'm gonna put inside the cup, just like this. We're gonna go, one more piece just to show you, thumb here, and we push as hard as we can down. So then we have this point, you're gonna have this little bit of overlay with my dimensions, but that's perfect. So we're gonna put it up on its side, and we're gonna do the top. I wanna secure this down. So we start with this here, secure, and then let me get it ready. So we're gonna get one long piece. Let me make some room here, okay. And we're gonna take it around and you're gonna hug it. And with this thicker tape, it's so much easier to do. And here, and you push down real fast. You don't even think about it. Even if you think it's too loose, you have extras on the side, don't worry about it. This tape will seal everything in. So you push down, push down, push down, push it all the way down and take your finger and push it. Okay. And I like to do one more and do the same thing all over here. And then you pull it as tight and you stretch it and push down. And it's okay if it lifts up a little, goes a little higher up here, because remember we have the bottom, we have all that room. Then we go here. Okay, we're good. Now let's go to our bottom section. And we have that little bit of there we're gonna cut. Okay, so I used my little scissors here, my husband had that we use out of our nail kit. Um, I'm not supposed to use these, but these are my favorite and it gets it done perfectly. So I have my extra, move it to the side, and this is where we are. So we take a long piece, put it down as tight as you can, pull it all the way, and then we're going to go underneath. And we're going to do the same to the bottom that we did to the top. And in using this thicker tape that we sell, um, it just really helps because 
you don't have to go over it so many times and it's easier to work with. So now I have it here. I push really tight. If you can see there on the edges, I have to really push as hard as I can to really make sure. It, so when this heats up, it really gets those edges because that's what you're going to notice. Your customer won't notice, but you will notice. So you'll thank me later for that. We push here. We'll do it one more time as tight as we can. Really, really tight and then push down so here and we're good. This is our first step of this, our normal taping method. And now we go on to the blue tape. Okay, so we first start back with this smaller painter's tape. And then our second, we're gonna use the really strong, super sharp lines. Um, I started this one day on accident and it just works wonders. So I first do the small, you're gonna pull as tight as you can and go over the whole cup. Really strong, it's gonna hurt your fingers a little bit, but the more pressure, the better. Push down, and we're gonna repeat this down the whole cup, and we'll be back. Okay, we're back guys, so we fully taped this down. This is how it should look. Um, this is just part one, so I have a really sweet friend, Evelyn, thank you so much for teaching us this method, and we've just added to it. So then we go here, and we go here, we push it down real tight, tight as we can, and the thicker sharp lines, and you just pull it as tight as you can. Keep going. And you already have the strips ready. I just put them on the side of my desk and keep going. Um, it helps, especially with the kids. We have a little one and then an older one, so it gets hectic. So however, I, whenever I have time, if it's nap time, lunch time, Whenever I have a second, I try to knock this part out. It's a process to get the cups perfect every time. We love it, but it's a process. So you just as tight as you can. Don't worry if there's wrinkles, you can push those out later. You just wanna keep going. Okay guys, and now we're back. Um, before we go to the oven stage, I wanna show you, I have another order I need to get out. So we're gonna do this here. Uh, this is one of our senior ones we have available as well. We do custom, you just send us the photos and we do the rest. Um, I will leave all those links below. So I'm gonna get this one done and then I will meet you guys at the oven. Bye. Hi guys, this is my toaster oven. Um, it's awesome, I got it on sale at Target, I think $39. So it has the turbo here. I put it on 375 turbo. I turn it on for about 20 seconds, 20 minutes, sorry, not 20 seconds. I let it heat up for five minutes and then I will be back. Okay guys, it's been about five minutes. You wanna make sure it's completely warmed up and you can kind of feel just with the pressure, it'll be pretty hot. You don't wanna have anything around it. Be very safe. Um, and then we have here our two cups. I like to put them both in at once. I'm gonna to try to record this and do it. So we put it down, put it in. If you see here at the bottom, I like to put that in. After this first one, you need to have gloves. So just be very careful and be careful not to touch the top. So push it in here and we let it go for two minutes and 50 seconds and I another thing I wanted to pop on here I like to do it um, and make sure I do it on my iPhone just the timer for two minutes and 50 seconds or 55 just depends and then we're gonna rotate them on counterclockwise upwards so that yellow there at the bottom will go to the top we flip it one time and do two minutes and 55 seconds and we're complete I wanted to show you my setup here on my kitchen table. I have tons of these I have in the garage because it gets really hot. Um, so I lay all these out and then I have the few for me to grab it. So it doesn't matter, they can be old, whatever, just they get really hot. And so I'm doing two cups at a time. So this is my setup for part two. Okay guys, these come out of the oven. They're smoking hot. So I'm gonna make sure to take all this off, take all the blue off, use all of my protective gloves and I'll be back. So they're both out and let's see what happens. Woohoo! Okay guys, this is it. We're done. These are our final result. They're beautiful, perfect seams, no issues there. And that's it. Please like and subscribe for more. Bye. Okay guys, this is it. We're done. These are our final result. They're beautiful, perfect seams, no issues there. And that's it. Please like and subscribe for more. Bye.